unless you use Kubernetes for your personal projects or some kind of POC, you need to be able to customize Kubernetes configuration files such as deployments, services, ingresses, etc. to a specific environment. For example, if you expose application to the internet using ingress, you definitely need to update DNS for different environments. Due to the fact that there are so many projects out there and some of them are widely used, such as Helm, the problem is still considered to be not completely solved. One approach to configuration reuse is simply copy-paste. However, as with code, it makes it harder to benefit from ongoing improvements to the source. Another approach to reuse is to express the source material as parameterized template. Then a tool is processing the template, executing any embedded scripting and replacing parameters with desired values to generate the configuration. The challenge here is that the templates and value files are not specification of Kubernetes API resources. They are necessary a new thing, a new language that wraps the Kubernetes API. The problem here with Helm is that different teams want different changes. So almost every specification that you include in the YAML file becomes a parameter that needs a value. And finally, a template-free approach. Since the Kubernetes configuration is expressed as JSON or YAML, it's relatively easy to target individual keys and merge them with environment-specific values. That's where Customize comes into play. It's native to Kubernetes, a template-free way to customize Kubernetes objects. Customize has the concept of bases and overlays. A base is a directory with customization.yaml file, which contains a set of Kubernetes resources such as deployments, config maps, services, etc., and associated customization. Overlay directories contain environment-specific changes. It may be a name prefix, replica count, a new image tag, or other changes. Customize uses industry standard declarative approach that can be described in YAML and stored in Git. Since it's a template free, it expresses the full power of Kubernetes API with no need to parameterize every single line compared to Helm. It is built into kubectl, so you can create and update resources using kubectl apply k command and similar command to delete. In this video, we will go over four examples. In the first one, I'll show you how to convert a typical Kubernetes deployment object to a customizable base and overlay. In the second example, we will use config map generator to create config maps specific to a particular environment. You're probably aware if you simply update config map with new data, it will not trigger a rolling deployment update. The recommended approach without customize is to create a new config map with a new name and replace it in deployment. Customize automates this process. Every time you modify the data, Customize generates a new config map object and append a hash, which triggers a wrong update. The third example will focus on secrets and how to generate them from multiple sources, such as environment variables. And the final example demonstrates how to update image name or a tag based on the specific environment. You can find the source code and commands that I run in the video in the blog post. The link will be in description. All right, let's start. I'm going to follow the same naming convention. Create a base directory. This folder will be used in other environments to customize our deployment. As I mentioned before, the goal of the first example is to show you how to convert a simple deployment to a customized base and overlays. It will be a Kubernetes deployment based on open source Nginx image. I specified a namespace as a default, but you can easily override in each environment. The important part is that it's native Kubernetes specification. It's not a template that needs to be customized. We will share this deployment and make some environment specific changes by either merging with the original or completely replacing it. Next, you need to create a customization.yaml file in the same base directory. Optionally, you can specify the kind to be customization, but it's not necessary if you use customization.yaml file name. In the following examples, we will omit this part. Then you need to specify what files will be used as a base, in other words, shared between environments, in this customization directory. Since we have a single deployment file, let's put it there. I would say that's the bare minimum that you need to get started. Now let's create environments folder. The first environment will be staging. To modify our Nginx deployment to be specific to this environment, we need customization.yaml file again. 
Here, for example, I want to replace the default namespace on the original deployment with a staging namespace. Then same here, we need to point this customization to the base directory. The base name is arbitrary name and you can use anything you want, just update the path. For this example, let's create staging namespace manually using kubectl client. Customize is built into kubectl and you can apply it by providing the dash k flag. You can also use a standalone binary if you want to build and preview the changes. As you can see, we have a single pod running in the staging namespace. We modified a single deployment attribute, namespace. Now let's create another production environment. In this folder, we can create another deployment object. The key is to have the same deployment name as the original. And we can choose to override any part of the deployment. For example, for production, we need 20 replicas. As you can imagine with Helm, you need to go over the whole deployment specification and parameterize every single attribute if you want to be as flexible as customize. This deployment doesn't have to be a complete object if you're going to merge it together with the original. Also, we need customization.yaml file. Update the namespace to production. You can open this link to find all possible parameters that you can override with customization file. This list is additional customization that you can add to simply modifying the source object. If you use the same namespace to deploy services, you may choose to prepend a prefix to the name. Then the same path to the base directory. In this example, I want customize to create a production namespace instead so that I will specify additional namespace resource here. Then we have two options either merge two deployments together or choose to replace it. You can do it not only with deployments but with all other Kubernetes objects such as roles, stateful sets, config maps, etc. The last item here is a production namespace that will be applied along with a deployment. To apply use the same command just specify the path to the production environment. Now we have 20 nginx pods in the production production namespace. Also, we have a production prefix at front of the pod and deployment. To delete, you can use a similar command, just don't forget to use dash key flag. In the second example, I'll show you how to use config map generators. When you change any data, it will trigger a rolling update. We're going to use the same folder structure, example 2 and a base directory. This deployment will use environment variable that we will retrieve from config map. The same very simple customization file with a single resource. We don't need to define config map in the base directory. Now under the staging folder, we will create customization and generate config map. Point to the base directory. Then the config map generator. There are multiple ways to generate it. In this example, we will use literals env equal to staging. That's it. Let's go ahead and apply the folder. The pod is already running. If you take a look at the config map, you can notice the hash appended to the name. Let's print it out. Under the data section, you have env equal to staging. Now, there is another way to generate a config map from the file. Instead of environment variables, we will get the data from config map and mount it to the file. Another change that we need to make is to add a second generator. In this case, we will use a file. We also need to create a creds.txt file in the same directory. We have a username and a password here. Let's reapply it. We have generated two config maps. Let's verify if we can access credentials from the pod. We can cut the file from the pod. All right, it's the same username and a password. The third example will be similar, but instead of config maps, we will generate secrets. Under the environment section, we use secret instead of config map. The same concept when the content of the secret changes. It generates a new secret with a hash, which triggers a rolling update. To check environment variables in the pod, you can run env command. And we have our username admin environment variable. The second environment variable, region, will be generated from the file. Add another generator to customize. Be careful when generating anything from the file, especially environment variables. If you add a new line to the file, it will be appended to the environment variable as well. That's the region US West 2. Finally, let's use the environment variable to populate environment variables in the pod. Create that env file and define variables, for example, password123. 
When you apply configuration, customize will source it and parse environment variables from the file. We have all three environment variables here. The final example demonstrates how to update the image tag or a name based on the environment. This deployment is without any changes. You can include the images section and rewrite the name and attack. Customize will search for any image in the base directory with the name Nginx. I don't want to update the image name, just upgrade the version. You can see that we have a new image, version 121.6. In my opinion, this is the best tool right now to customize configuration files based on the environment. I want to remind you if you use Helm. To achieve the same flexibility, you need to parameterize every single attribute. Also, it's easier to integrate customize to existing tools and workflows such as continuous deployment. Let me know in the comments if I was able to convince you to try customize.